Hey, what's up, guys? Eskazoo here, and welcome to episode 13 of Scaling to Glory. Today, we are once again going to be making a brand new team around a new five star skiller. And the one we're using today is actually a new one which got released a couple of weeks ago. That is uh, Jan Turia, who plays in the Russian League, 75 pace, 80 dribbling. Has decent stats and is a 69 rated. Then we move on to the challenges. Uh, the first one is score four goals with him. The second one is score four skill goals. And the third one is kind of uh, an honor to Air Japes, I think. As you all know, he's uh, kind of the king when it came to chips a couple of FIFAs back. I think FIFA 15. Uh, chip life, score three chip shots. Uh, that is also a challenge we need to complete. So this is the team I've decided to go with. Again, a lot of squads were sent in by you guys and uh, they were kind of similar because I obviously gave you guys two players I really want to have in the team. Um, of course, Inform, Promes, the striker, and also a uh, man of the match version of Manuel Fernandez. Both four-star skill moves and they uh, look like a cheap beast because they don't really go for that much. They're both not even, uh, I think, together more than 40k or something, which is not a lot. Um, so, um, yeah, this is the team. As always, there will be a link in the description down below as well. Uh, also uh, includes some other squads that you guys send in that you could maybe use as well. And there was one other team in particular which I tried out, but for some reason I just couldn't play with it whatsoever. It included the inform version, I think the second inform, or the third inform actually from uh, Depay at Lyon. But uh, he played so bad for me. Decided to go with his regular instead. And um, yeah, this is the team. Anyway, Chanturia, you can see him on your screen. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot. Doesn't have the most amazing stats, but that 80 dribbling um, should be something we, uh, we hopefully take advantage of because uh, that high dribbling stat is always useful when it comes to the skill runs. So these are the two kits I decided to go with. Two from uh, the Dutch League from Vitesse. They actually won the Dutch Cup, so I decided to, uh, to go with them. And they're actually quite decent in game as well. So um, yeah, moving on in what will be the first game of the episode. We do come up against a team in the false time formation. A lot of informs, a lot of uh, players from Liverpool uh, in particular, the informs and stuff. Left wing Coutinho looks amazing as well. And also Mane on the right hand side. And uh, we start off after two minutes here with a pie. A shot there with his uh, weaker foot, only two stars goes wide. And I got to say that his inform is actually one of the worst players I've used. I used him in Fatal as well. Uh, the third inform version. He played okay for me, but when I used him in a squad around Chanturia, he felt even worse than, I don't know, Edison Flores or Odua. He, he felt so clunky and he just couldn't shoot at all for me. It felt like he had a, uh, a two-star right foot, if that makes sense. So, yeah, just decided to go with his regular stat. Much cheaper and, um, yeah, he fits into the team nicely as well, especially at the United version. But um, yeah, look at this for a goal, by the way, by uh, Chanturia with his four-star weak foot. Very nicely done from that uh, short corner uh, we took. I tried to do the same thing kind of here uh, with Chanturia again as well. This time on the other side. Uh, actually went with some skill moves, but unfortunately lost the ball after that. And uh, you can see first off, a lot of chances for us. Only 1-0. And that is uh, the kind of problem I had with this team, at least when it came to uh, finishing off the chances. But it's kind of a common thing in this series so far. Uh, that I, when it comes to finishing, I am uh, not very clinical. I'm not too sure why it is, because I also don't really seem to bury the chances I have uh, with like the better players instead of like the low, low-rated skillers. But um, yeah, I probably just need to work on my finishing a lot more. I think. Anyway, into the second half we go. We went on the counter here on the right hand side with Chanturia. Some great skill moves. Eventually beat the defender there with the Burbers fan. We cut in again on his right foot and we uh, tap it in very, very nicely. Make it two nil. And uh, get a second goal already and also the first skill goal. And uh, you can see from the replay that uh, it was actually a really, really nice skill goal. And um, yeah, really happy with the goal so far and uh, with his performance in this team. Then 76 minutes, uh, he did some shielding work with Gabriel Jesus. Now look at that for a save for my defender. But then from the rebound, it is Sturridge who taps it in for pretty much an open net and uh, makes it 2-1. Uh, the final minutes of this game were uh, were kind of tough. My opponent did get himself some more chances. We did get a long shot in here with the uh, Martial which hit the post, and uh, that's how the game ended. So uh, we end up winning that game 2-1. to one. Uh, Great game, especially from Tom Turia, yeah, bringing us the goals and uh, yeah, scoring some really nice ones as well. Now moving on, what will be the final game? We come up against a La Liga side with the, uh, I think, the one sword version of Sansona, I think it is pronounced, from uh, Villarreal. And uh, also in this game, we start off very, very early. On the right-hand side, it is uh, Pro Messi here, trying to go for a chip shot. I was hoping that his goalkeeper would come out, but um, he stood still, and yeah, easy save for him. 
Then we move on a few minutes later, a bit of one-two passing, some fancy stuff as well, a lovely back use. Then we get another shot in uh, again with their promise, edge of the box, but this time a very good save from his keeper. 15th minute on the right hand side, John Turia beats two defenders there at the same time with some great skill moves again. Cuts inside the box, goes for a shot with his left foot this time, gets saved. And then from the rebound, it is the pie with the volley making it 1-0. I'm not going to count this as a skill goal just because it went in off the rebound. Um, so um, yeah, in case you're wondering, it's also kind of a, not really a rule, but it's also something I just want to kind of stick with. Uh, then moving on in the 30th minute after my opponent uh, had some uh, chances, he picked up a corner here at the near post. I think it is one of, uh, one of the tactics he had because he uh, actually got quite a few corners uh, when he uh, scored that one. Uh, just before that, he had like a couple corners where he just aimed at the near post. And uh, eventually he scored it with Casimiro. Then straight from kickoff he went on the attacker with John Turia. I tried to go for like a first time shot. But uh, he went for some sort of a slide tackle shot. Which uh, unfortunately he couldn't hit the ball properly from. And then 36 minutes we lose the ball with Fernandes after we did some skill moves. But then John Turia again picks it up and curls it into the top corner. You can especially see from the replay how nice the shot was. You can see uh, Fernandes doing the animation. But look at that for a strike. No chance there for the goalkeeper. Top bins. And um, yeah, again, Chanturia is there uh, with a very, very nice goal. And uh, again, we do take the lead in this game. Then 40th minute, a cheeky chip here from Promes. The goalkeeper came out and uh, was only one way to score. And that is obviously a uh, go with that chip shot. And uh, we make it 3-1, uh, still in the first half. And um, yeah, I thought we... Uh, we would be able to maybe like get some more goals eventually in the second half until my opponent started playing a little bit better. I thought he maybe could have had a penalty there when I pushed him away. And then uh, front of the attack, he, uh, he managed to, uh, to shoot it wide. Then a uh, 73rd minute, gets himself another chance here. Uh, beats my defenders there with some nice play with uh, Carrasco. Then I try to tackle him off the ball, which if you look at the replay, is actually a perfect tackle. But also because he hit the defender with, I think, his left foot. Even though you can see from the replay, I clearly hit the ball. The referee decided to give a penalty. So um, yeah, he steps up with Carrasco. And even though I go uh, in the right corner, Sirigu isn't able to save it. And seriously, look at that animation. I mean, I've tweeted something similar about this. It's uh, for a game you will see in a couple days which was uh, just unbelievable. But um, this penalty, I mean, should have been saved by Sirigu. I went in the right way and um, yeah, I don't really know what I else was able to do. Uh, then a 78th minute, a chance here ag again with uh, Chanturia. I could have already scored this fourth goal, but uh, yeah, we missed that opportunity. Then 85th minute, another chance here to make it 4-2 with uh, Promes this time. Unfortunately, the goalkeeper saves, but uh, eventually it would end up uh, being enough for us to win this game because that's how the game ended. And uh, like I said, end up winning 3-2. to two. And uh, that means we're going to be moving on to the skillers up. Where you can see we have already scored three goals with Chanturia. Very, very nicely done in only two games. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can even score more goals than uh, the four we only need to have. But obviously, first of all, we need to, uh, to complete the challenge in order to... Uh, to score more goals but anyway guys that's where we're going to be ending off this episode hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated so i'd like to thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye, -bye.